I'm going to be ranking the best point guards right now in NBA 2K23. My team, as you guys see, we have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to D tier. And we have about 35 of the best point guards right now in my team. And you guys can let me know in the comment section down below your guys' favorite point guards to be running in the game right now. And of course, let me know what you guys would change about my tier list. But looking at the first point guard is going to be the Hero Hero Turkaloo. But I think is probably still in the B tier category. He's still a six foot ten point guard, six foot eleven wingspan, so has that size to compete against most other point guards in the game, and still does have a very elite jump shot with the John Stockton base, Trey Young upper on very quick timing, and still does have some solid dribble six with the Kyle Lowry size up and the Curry escape as well. So I mean. Hugo Turkoglu, definitely not a top 10 point guard or a top tier point guard anymore. I still think he's really good for a budget price because of his size, but I do think you got to put him in that B tier category. Now talking about the end game, Allen Iverson, as much as I do think he's a fun card to use, he's an end game, so he's going to have those crazy good sigs, you know, crazy fast jump shot. It's just he's only six foot at the point guard position with a six foot three wingspan. I just don't know if that can really cut it at this stage of my team. Like, yes, I know he's got that good jump shot with the KPJ base, Sadiq Bay upper on very quick timing. I know he's got the great triple six. He's going to move very quickly in game. He's just going to be so small on the defensive end that it's going to be pretty much impossible you know, to get paint stops with Allen Iverson, like even a Hugo Turkoglu can probably score at every single possession on Allen Iverson down low, just because of his pure size and, and, and Allen Iverson really not that, really not being that great of a defender. So I do think he's going to be in D tier, still a fun point guard, but I think if we're talking competitively and in unlimited, he's just not going to really be that great. Now, uh, now Amen Thompson, I think is really close to being in the S tier category. I think right now is probably fringe S tier. Like I could see him being in the S tier category. You guys know I absolutely love this Amen Thompson card. I think he's so good at point guard, especially for his price tag. Anthony Edwards, still a really good point guard in my team. Like I know he came out, you know, yesterday and there was like Luka Doncic and tons of just other cards in the game coming out. So don't feel like many people really talked about Anthony Edwards, but still a decent point guard. Like he's six foot five at the one, six foot nine wingspan. I do like his jump shot a ton with the O'Shea base, John Wall upper on very quick timing. And he does have great dribble sigs. He's got those crazy good dunk packages. He's got max out defensive tendencies. So I think he's probably better than like a Hito Turkoglu. Scotty Barnes, this is a really tough one. I think Scotty Barnes is either high B tier or low A tier. I think they're very similar cards. You know anthony edwards and scotty barnes with their defense but i'm gonna go barnes and b tier for now we gotta have some point guards and b i still think barnes is great at the point guard position though he's a really good defender six foot eight with a seven foot two wingspan still has a great player model but i do think he's gonna be in the b tier category baron davis i'm gonna go c tier just because he's a little bit taller than Allen iverson he's gonna be better slashing to the rim he's a better defender in game and actually does also have a very good jump shot like he got you know some pretty good animations uh, he, he did honestly get some pretty good animations when we're talking about an invincible card he's got the john stockton base joe angles upper on very quick timing but he's six foot three with a six foot five wingspan and a much better player model than Allen iverson so i do think he's going to be in the c tier category ben simmons i think is going to be our first s tier point guard i mean he's still six foot eleven at the one seven foot wingspan one of the best point guard player models in the game probably the best defensive point guard and also probably the best slashing point guard in the game and just his size is super overpowering and once this card gets an invincible or end game version he's most likely going to be the best point guard when he does get his jump shot changed maybe a better size up this card is going to be absolutely ridiculous even more overpowered than he is now but i think for now ben simmons probably going to be in the s tier category i mean definitely a top five point guard anthony black i think is probably b or a tier i think anthony black is still amazing at pg i'll go i'll go a tier for anthony black i could maybe see him being in b tier he's still a really good point guard though six foot seven at the one just not too confident with his jump shot with the john stockton base and the rudy gay upper but i do think he's gonna be an a now devin booker is an interesting one i don't think he really got that much better from his previous dark matter version like if we compare the invincible devin booker to his playoff one that had 50 hall of fame badges is there really going to be a difference so 50 hall of fame badges to 55 so very similar in there stats wise i mean sure yeah the invincibles got better stats is it going to make that big of a difference maybe a little bit on defense like plus 13 block 
you know, is going to make definitely a difference. But I don't think the stats are game breaking at this point in my team, as long as, you know, you have like 95s, 96s, 97s in most categories, which the playoff booker has. I don't think it really matters too much. Badges, like I said, are going to be very similar. And then animations, I believe, are the exact same, right? Yeah, the exact same pretty much all around animations. So I don't think this Devin Booker Invincible is that much better than his playoff one. Still a great point guard. Like I do think he's B tier, really good offensively. I could see him being in the A tier category and maybe he does get moved up. But for now, I'm gonna go D book and B tier. K Cunningham, I'm also throwing S tier. I think he's such a good point guard. I do think he's top five. I think he's one of the more underrated point guards in the game. Six foot eight at the one, seven foot one wingspan. I think his jump shot is top tier with the D Mitch base. Oscar Robertson upper on very quick timing and he still has great dribble sigs and great dunk packages really good at getting to the rim he's got the size to be a top tier point guard and I do think Kane is going to be in that S tier category Curry I mean a really good offensive point guard can you put him in B tier I just really don't think so just because of his size right he's only six foot three at the point guard position I'm a probably I'm gonna probably go Curry in that C tier category I just don't know if you can put him in B tier maybe you can though he's still an end game card and a little bit taller than Allen Iverson and also does have a way better player model Doug Christie as crazy as it sounds I think is a top five point guard in the game and actually going to be an S tier he is so amazing at point guard six foot six up to one six foot nine wingspan he's a great defender but my favorite thing about this card easily has to be this jump shot it's one of my new favorite jump shots in the game the lamella ball base oscar robertson upper on very quick timing i think it's actually a better jump shot than what the end games have with the kpj base and the sadiq bay upper i think it's such a good release he's got amazing dribble sigs good dunk packages almost maxed out defensive tendencies and like i said he's a very solid defender so i think doug christie actually going to be in the s tier category draymond green i'm gonna go probably like high c tier or low b tier for draymond i'll go low b tier for now I think he's still good, you know, on the defensive end, just his jump shot is very, very slow. Darius Garland, I'm going to go in D tier, just an undersized point guard. Not terrible, though. I just think he's going to be on that Allen Iverson level. James Harden, I'm going to go in C tier. Like, he's only two inches taller than Curry, so it's not going to make that big of a difference. Also, it's not like Harden's got some crazy overpowered player model. I still think he's really good offensively. I just don't think he's on the same tier as an invincible Devin Booker, Scotty Barnes, Edo Turkoglu, or even Draymond Green. At least that one's a little bit closer, but I think Harden for now going to be in C tier. Iguodala, probably B. I think Iggy's a very underrated point guard just because he wasn't really that worth grinding for but he's still a really good point guard he's six foot six at the one six foot eleven wingspan we know iggy's gonna be a top tier defender and they actually gave him a solid jump shot with the rubio base carmelo anthony upper on very quick timing he's got great dribble sigs you know great defensive tendencies all maxed out and i think he's really good at slashing to the paint so iguodala i would say is gonna be a b tier point guard kyrie irving another undersized point guard in the game i think he's really fun to use and some of these like are pretty much all of these c and d tier point guards are really fun to use in game they're just going to be a little bit undersized and not that great on defense jimmy butler i'm gonna go b tier very similar to draymond great defenders you know good dribble six just not the biggest fan of their jump shots but i think you still got to give him b tier uh joe dumars i'm gonna probably go also d or c tier i think these you know these two tiers are very similar i'm gonna go I'm gonna go Ju uh, Joe Dumars in C tier. I think he's actually, you know, pretty good for being a short, undersized point guard. Like you look at his animations and he's got a great jump shot. He's got good dribble sigs, great dunk packages, max out tendencies. He's an elite level defender. So I do think he's gonna be in C tier. Now, now Nikola Jokic, 100% gonna be an S. I think probably is the second or the best point guard in my team. He's still six foot 11 at the one and can do everything you need from a point guard. Kobe, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go probably like low B tier for Kobe. I think he's better than like a Curry, a James Harden, you know, those type of cards. I don't think he's gonna be an A tier though. I think Kobe probably fits perfectly in that low B tier category. Zach Levine, I'm gonna go C tier. This card, I just, I was really excited to try him out and really hyped to use him, but he just didn't really pan out to be as good as I thought he was. Not that great defensively. His jump shot feels a little bit baited at times, and his sigs really don't feel as fast as I hope they would. Now, the end game, Luka Doncic, I think is the best point guard in my team. I think this card is absolutely unreal, super overpowered, and probably the best point guard in my team. So I do think he's going to be an S tier. His other Dark Matter version, though, I think is still probably an A tier. A really good jump shot. 
good dribble sticks and he can still be a great offensive point guard one of the best in the game so i think luca the interdimensional is still going to be in the a tier category magic i'm gonna probably go b tier alongside like draymond really good defender i just don't know if you could put him in a tier with that jump shot but does have the size being a six foot nine point guard now Lamelo and mj i think probably slide into like the a tier category Lamelo still got a really good jump shot a really good offensive point guard and then you got mj with a solid release you know great dribble six he moves quick in game he's great at getting to the basket he gets crazy good dunk animations and then also is a very good defender so i think mj Lamelo probably gonna be in that low a tier category don ole I mean, he's only six foot three at point guard. I'll probably give him C tier. He's still a really fun offensive point guard. Like I really like his jump shot. Six foot three at the one, six foot eight wingspan. He plays a lot bigger than six foot three in game. Like he's got a great player model and he's a really good defender, but I really like his jump shot with the Derrick Rose base, Rudy Gay upper on very quick timing. He's got great dribble sticks, good dunk packages, and actually very solid defensive tendencies. So I think Don Ohl probably going to be in the high C tier category. Ron Artest, I'm going to go alongside Scotty Barnes and B tier. Really elite defender in my team. I just don't know if you can put him in A tier anymore. Still a really good budget PG though, especially on defense. Russell Westbrook and Shea, I think probably also going to be in C tier. I think Sean Livingston going to be in the high C tier category. I think all of these guys are very, very similar at the point guard position. Jerry Stackhouse. I might give him B tier. He's not that really worth grinding for in unlimited, right? For him being the unlimited price, he's definitely not worth it. But he's still a six foot six point guard with a pretty good jump shot and solid dribble sig. So I think because he's because he's an invincible and does have a pretty good release, I'll give him the B tier category. Jason Terry also going to have to be C tier. Really good offensive point guard has some of the best animations in the game. Just only a six foot two PG. And then Wes Unseld, I think is also going to be in that B tier category. So yeah, guys, that's going to be my point guard tier list. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would change about it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.